ability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world confusing me. CHS, these are your student announcements for Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. I'm Mikey Clover. And I'm Peyton Ridley. The lunch menu for today is... Nachos, taco in a bag, burritos, reed fried beans, and... Watermelon. Yum. Yum. Happy birthday to... Ava Devereaux. Have a good day. Pay, did you go to the senior alumni meeting? Yeah, it was great seeing everyone, and it really made me think a lot more about what I want to do in the future. Sweet. Let's check out some more information. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. So, like, it's an awful way to start it off, but when you think of community college, you're like, oh my god, it's gonna suck, you have no social life, like, you know, you're not gonna know any people, like, you you know, like, there's a very negative stereotype about it, but when I got there and I was like, you know, this actually, like, isn't bad for, like, the amount. So, they'll tell your drop-in hours, they'll send them out every week, and or most of them do, and then if you have a question, go stop in and ask them personally. That's what they are for. Um, and if you and if you don't, you know you might struggle a little bit, but don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help because ha that's what most students do. Animals, unless I want to pay for it, and like it's just so convenient having the food, and it's also like good. Like I personally, like I'm not even being biased. Like I tell you guys, if it was crap, but like they invested in making it better, so I personally think it's good. So I will re definitely regret like not going out and just going to stuff earlier because now I will go all the time but before I kind of was just like sitting at the house every day what am I supposed to do what are my thumbs but just going out and like doing stuff like even if it's by yourself you'll find people there <laughs> uh, but I feel like rooming with different people um, you, you get to bond with them a little bit they, they become your friend you can you can form a deeper a deeper friendship with them for sure and it's even just interesting getting to meet someone from a different place in the state or even out of state. Like I had um, one roommate who was from North Dakota. I had one roommate who was from Illinois. Um, and it was just interesting seeing what kind of like, what home was like to them and just hearing their perspective on stuff. Okay. Well, so you'll have this, this uh, roommate form that you fill out like to get put with people of similar interests basically. Mm -hmm. And I told the last group this, I put uh, classical music as my favorite, like just an example. And it's not, but I just took it as a joke, and then I got some really weird guys. So, <laughs> so just take it seriously. Yeah, that's that's just my thing. Um, you have like eight hours of lecture per week. Think of a school day here. It's like eight hours, and you're not as productive versus that time you're in class and studying is so productive. So you have random gaps throughout the day that you can do stuff. You can go to clubs, and clubs are like every other week for an hour. So you can be in a lot of clubs, and they're very easy, and they're good for resumes and scholarships and jobs. For two years, or actually three years. I worked at the dining hall for three years, made really good money. So any on-campus job at Michigan starts at 15, which is really nice, but um, I worked up to $20 an hour at the dining hall. Um, it was really, I mean, it was fine. Like, we have all kinds of options. We have kosher halal, because we have a very diverse group of students. So there's all kinds of vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free. Um, pretty much anything that your dietary needs are. There's allergy people, if you have like very specific allergies. Um, 
So I thought it was good. I live off campus now in a house as well, and I cook most of my own food just because it is cheaper. But I'm thinking about getting meal plan next semester just because I'm going to be on campus more, and it's really convenient to just pop in the dining hall um, for like a quick lunch because I pack my lunch now because I like I live 15 minutes away like by like walking or bus. Um, so I just pack my lunch, that way I can have it like <laughs> between classes in the library. Like no one's gonna look at you weird. Like people bring out full like three course meals as microwaves everywhere, so. But for me at least, like there was like so much time. Like the first few weeks we had Saturday, Sunday games, so we didn't, I was kind of like doubting it. Like it kind of sucks because we had no weekend. But then like the next three weeks of our season, like we had the whole weekends off and we got to go to football games and stuff like that. And it's. Uh, you have a lot more free time than a lot of people think you do. Um, and like when we were traveling, like last year, uh, we went to Hawaii. We went to uh, not really anywhere else cool, I guess. But. <laughs>Attention all students, the snow coming dance is being held on Saturday, February 3rd from 7 to 10 p.m. The cost to attend is $5 per person. You must be at the dance by 7.30 p.m. And in order to enter. Also, students will not be allowed to leave until 9.30 p.m. Dance guest forms are available in the rack outside of the office. The deadline to turn in a form is today by the end of the day. No forms will be ex accepted after today. Blush Salon will be hosting a Rent the Runway dress event to help those looking for the perfect prime dress on a budget. This event will be held on Saturday, March 9th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Carriage House here in Chesney. For details and information on how to register, please scan the QR code on one of the flyers posted throughout the building. The next Key Club meeting is Wednesday, January 31st at 3 p.m. in room 402. Please bring any new ideas to the meeting. Goodbye, CHS. Have an amazing day.